<laughs> being a passenger in a in an <laughs> autonomous taxi? Maybe. I, no, not yet. No? <laughs> nope. Nope. Okay, so maybe from nope. G and, and a no from me too. So okay. you're on that yes, island. Yes, what about you? G. Yeah, it's gonna be a no for me, dog. <laughs> Where's your sense of adventure, you guys? Maybe a few years from now, we'll be adventurous. I don't know about that. <laughs> it's foggy this morning, though, on this Friday, Jess. It really is. No matter where you live in the Bay Area right now, we are dealing with a very dense fog, all thanks to low pressure diving in from the Pacific Northwest. This is impacting us significantly as we head into the next couple days, so much so that we actually have some rain in the forecast. Now, whether or not you're going to like the numbers, that's a whole different story for later in this forecast. But let's start off with a live look right now. That high pressure has pushed its way away. Now we're dealing with cooler temperatures thanks to low pressure and a lot of fog too. This is a look at what we're expecting heading into this morning. I mean, it's just wide across the board, right? Especially in our coastal areas, even in the heart of the bay, the mouth of the bay close to the Golden Gate Bridge, we're dealing with dense conditions. Gianna's going to touch on that in just a second, how that will impact your traffic. But take a look at this. This is how much rain we're expected to get as we extend all the way into that Sunday setup. About a quarter of an inch up in our inland hills, actually closer to Santa Rosa for that matter. San Francisco, mm, just about a hundredth of an inch. But something is better than nothing. It's going to be a very cool, cool weekend for us here in the Bay. Temperatures are cooling down significantly, too, thanks to that area of low pressure. A cold front settling its way in for us today, tomorrow. But take a look at this. As we take a look at our allergen account, or our pollen account, I should say, notice how it drops as we head into Sunday as that rain starts pushing its way in and jumps right back up as we head into Monday. We're tapering off very fast with that rain setup once we head into our Monday. However, take a look at daytime highs for us. All throughout the Santa Clara Valley, mid to low 70s are mostly expected. Heading off into the east, closer to Walnut Creek, well, low 70s there too. San Ramon only had a daytime high of 71. Once we head into the heart of the bay, though, anywhere from San Francisco down into Daly City, upper 50s, lower 60s will still be the trend for us as we head into our afternoon daytime highs, and it doesn't warm up too much more, even up near Sonoma or Napa for that matter. This is what we're looking at, though, as we head into the weekend. Daytime highs still mostly sitting in the 60s for San Francisco. We warm up more as we head into late portions of next week. Once that rain stops and heads into next week, we're actually dealing with mostly sunny conditions, partly cloudy skies at times. It's stunning nonetheless. So a very cool weekend for us. Once we head into next week, things are going to change. I mean, look at the inland hills, too. Anywhere from the North Bay, we're dealing with upper 60s, jumping into the 80s as early as Monday. But we'll keep you updated on that change here in the Weather Center. For now, Gianna.